It was supposed to be the great electric hope. The electric car is here. GM's EV1 that went away about as quickly as it came. If Detroit wasn't going to build an electric car... It, it's just different components being used in the car. Average Americans would. People like Leftaros Padavos, a professional photographer who converted his 71 914 Porsche. Daniel Telosi, an electrical engineer whose Ford Fairlane station wagon is now all electric. And Greg Koenig, a web designer who turned his 95 Honda Del Sol convertible into an electric sports car. Oh, it's a blast to drive. They are do-it-yourselfers who basically taught themselves how to convert gas cars to all electric. This is not rocket science. Whether I tell people what you see here is available existing technology. This is off-the-shelf stuff. The cost? About $8,000. And you can forget any storage space. That goes to the batteries. The first thing that needs to come out would be the gasoline engine as well as the radiator and the muffler. He has eight batteries under the hood and 14 others in the trunk. The car's range, 70 miles between charges. It takes about three hours to charge the car. It's costing us about 1.6 cents per mile. When you add it up, Leftaris says that's about 300 miles for under five bucks. And he has no complaints about performance. Each month, the Electric Vehicle Association of Southern California meets to compare cars and notes. It's the only way to drive, you know, electricity instead of oil, much better. It's all domestic, it's clean. With gas prices now above $4 a gallon, these drivers are trying to send that message to automakers scrambling to come up with fuel-efficient vehicles. For Leftaris, it's all about freedom. When's the last time that you actually cared about the price of gas? I. Uh, I can't remember. I, I don't look. In our group, we'll call it passing gas. <laughs> Thelma Gutierrez, CNN, Los Angeles.